Hey guys, my name is Nathaniel Moss, and today I got another profound unboxing. And um, the website that you get this stuff from is um, www.profound.com slash Sam. Um, he's one of my buddies. He's the one that keeps sending me all this stuff, so thank you, Sam. Um, Y'all need to go check out that website. That's where you get all these great baits. So um, I don't know what all is in here. Um, so we're all get to see my surprise on my face. So uh, let's see what's in here. Get this open. I'll just rip the box. It won't cut the tape. Alright. So, um, much paper. Um, wrote me a letter. Oh, I had to read that. Um, so, right here, got me a profound shirt. So thank you, Mr. Sam, for that. Um, just some more paper. Okay, I'm seeing some good stuff in here. I like what I see. Um, this is the Z-Boss. This is the 10, the smaller version of the Z-Boss 20. Great crankbait, you guys. Um, Randy Haynes, he believes in this crankbait a lot. Um, there's a little some facts about this. Uh, it's got a transfer system in it. It'll bullet it out a mile. So, good crankbait there. I'll have an in-depth review on most of this stuff later. Here's the big brother. Here's the big brother of that. This is the Z-Boss 20. Um, I really like this color right here. That color was um Tennessee River. Um, this is uh. Let me see. This is Pale Rider. Really nice crankbait there. I love this. These are going to be killer this summer. Um, let me see. I'm sticking with crankbaits and hard baits. Uh, this is their, uh, I really wanted this, so thank you, Mr. Sam, for this. Um, I needed this for this weekend. I got two tournaments. If I do good in them, I'll have, I'll tell you guys what I used. But, um, I can get this out. This is the Shaker Z. These hooks are sharp. Really nice rattle trap there. I really like this color too. This color is um mirror shad. I really like that color. It's nice, nice little rattle trap there. Um so next. Oh, yeah. This is going to come into play this summer. Um, the Virginia TBF State Tournament. TBF um, State Tournament up there on the Chickahominy River. This will definitely come into play. Uh, so thank you for sending me this, Mr. Sam. This is a... Um, this is a Z-Pop. Same color that Mirror Shad. It's got a nice little feathered treble. So... Thank you, Mr. Sam, for that. Um, let's see. I think these are the last hard baits. This is the last hard bait. This is the same thing, the Popper Z. Um, this one came in a different packaging, actually. This one came in like a foam packaging. Um, so it's the same bait except this is the uh mm, I don't think it says the color I don't know it doesn't say the color a nice color there it's gonna be killer um I'm excited about some of this stuff coming up oh yeah all right this is the uh this is the Edwin Evers spinnerbait, design spinnerbait. Um, some of the cool features about this is, if you guys look at this head, when it hits cover, it's going to reflect up. Instead of it falling over to the side, it's going to reflect up. Um, 
That's going to be killer. Um, during the shad spawn, whenever the bushes are flooded, when I'm throwing it on rocks, that's going to come into a lot of play. So thank you, Mr. Sam, for that. Um, we're going to some of these. This is a lure knocker. Wish I had this yesterday. Lost a um, $20 Alabama rig. Thank you, Mr. Sam, for that. Um, here's some... Um, Here's some like jig heads right here. So they got some hollow body swim bait heads. They got some different swim bait heads and stuff like that. Um, I think that's what they are, swim bait heads. Um, I don't throw swim baits too often much, but that's one of the things I've been looking to get into. Um, this is a football jig. Copper Daddy, that's what they call this, Copper Daddy. So, um, really nice football jig here. Edwin Evers designed this too. Guys, you can see it's got those grooves on it. Really nice color there. Sorry, guys, I got a cold. That's why I'm having to sniffle a lot. Um, this is the, um, he sent me a um, 7 16 ounce and a, um, nine sixteenths and um they're called miss crawl really nice casting jig there that might even come into play tomorrow i'm thinking about it that that th these jigs right here they might come into play this is the um gary klein creature creature scent swim jig um really like these Looking at these the other night, one of them is called um, Bluegill. That's that right there. Really nice little swim jig there. Got a light weed guard on it. Uh, this is called uh, Pickwick Prey. That's going. Th that those might come into play tomorrow, but I mean I'll definitely be throwing them a lot. Um, this around the Bluegill spawn in May, if we don't if we don't get too much more snow, and that probably around the Shad spawn. This is called the Ringo. And this is chartreuse pepper. They don't have no scent to them, but I like that color right there. Um, I'll probably throw this on the bed a lot. So um, that'll definitely come into play. Here's another one. And uh, I know what I'm going to do with this. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put it on a half ounce jig head. That half ounce jig head they sent me this summer. Fish it out in ledges. Maybe put it on a shaky head. That color is candy bug. Um, here's a um, KJ Crawl and James Tide. Oh yeah, I like this. This is kind of like a watermelon red. Basically, it's just like a tube with some crawl claws on there. It's got a solid head. Nice feature there. So thank you. Uh this is a this is the crossum. I actually saw Timmy Horton use this. Um, if you guys haven't checked out his TV show, you guys need to. Um, Timmy Horton Outdoor Show. You really, you guys, you really need to go check out that. Uh, this is just green pumpkin. That's that's gonna be a sick jig trailer when the water heats up just a little bit. We went yesterday. We fished nine hours. Uh, we were fishing points because the water temperature was just 50. Uh, didn't have no luck. We caught a bunch of rock fish and white perch and stuff on the new Spro oh, um, rock crawler. But so this is the uh, this is the crossum again in watermelon red copper. Neat little bait there. Uh, oh, I forgot some jigs. I had to go back to them. This is the uh, this is the crossum again in black blue swirl, nice color there. Thank you for this. I've been needing me some more black and blue stuff. Um, so yeah, these few jigs I left out. Uh, I really like this jig. I'm really interested in. It's the Kelly Jordan. Whenever they say KJ, they mean Kelly Jordan. And this is flip in um, nine sixteenths and seven sixteenths. So this is the 7 16 right here. 
These are all. These are both PB and J. So same thing in there, just a little bit bigger. And then um, last thing. This is the. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think this is like another KJ something. KJ. Uh, probably another flipping jig. Yeah, this is another flipping jig. Except this is sour pumpkin. Really not co nice color there. So you guys, re you really need to check out that website that I was telling you. www.profound.com slash Mr. Sam. Um, he'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, for any of this stuff you've seen, check out his website. And um, I'll have an in-depth review on some of this stuff as soon as I get to fishing them. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Nathaniel Moss signing off. God bless.